I've been involved in some form of website building since 1996. Back then, by the way, the phrase web development never got used much. That only appeared in the early 2000s. But for 21 years, I was a thoroughly average developer. I, you know, I was, I was competent. I could build sites and whatnot. I could do gigs and all of that. But I was never producing anything that was innovative. I was never pushing the boundaries of technology. I used Codeigniter, widely considered to be one of the most basic frameworks. And I was really just plodding along in a land of mediocrity for 21 years. But then something happened. About two years ago, there was a change. And DC 2.0 appeared. As I speak, I'm on the verge of heading out to PC World to go and buy a Windows laptop. Why? Because this week I'm releasing a desktop app and I need to make sure it works on Windows, Linux and Mac. I need to also buy all of the license and stuff as well now that I think of it. Yesterday I finished the final feature of my PHP framework which is called Trongate. And I would say that I'd be happy to have that going up against any framework in the marketplace. It's not a micro framework. It's a fully enterprise grade framework that has been designed to build big giant apps. So what happened? How does a pizza delivery guy go from hanging about forums asking what MVC means to suddenly building all this stuff, frameworks and software and everything, of course, uh, not only that, but even coming up with an entirely new coding philosophy that just appeared out of thin air. How does all of that happen? More importantly, how do you go from being a mediocre or let's say average developer to being a great developer? That's what we're going to talk about today. Now, forgive the screen. There's no particular reason for me showing the screen here. I am, I'm not into making thumbnails and stuff like that. And this is an impromptu video. Sometimes I just feel something and I talk about it. So forgive me for that. I'm just going to be me. And I'm going to tell you about the things that made the difference. And I hope that this can help those of you who feel as if you've been at the same level for a long time and maybe you'd like to raise your game. I am a great developer. I've just finished off a new feature for the Trongate API Explorer here. I can say with a straight face, I think it's possibly the best in its class and I've added um, a few features that I've not seen in any other frameworks and I look forward to launching this and introducing it out in the wild next year. So how on earth do you go from wherever you are to building things that, in my case, uh, literally nobody else has ever built before? Or at least if they have, I haven't seen it. Well, first of all, it was a decision. And forgive me if that sounds a bit self-help-like, but I made a decision in my mind that I was tired of being mediocre. I used to watch tutorials and seminars and conferences on the web just like you folks and I couldn't understand any of them and I used to get put down all the time. There's still forum threads and everything out there where I'm just being ridiculed and I'm offering people money and everything for help. I couldn't even understand the basics. But then one day I had this thought, what if the reason why I'm not understanding things is not because I'm an idiot. But maybe it's just because other people never explained it properly. And then I decided about five minutes later, you know what? I'm going to be the best developer in the world. I made that decision with a straight face and I started waking up at 5.30 a.m. and something changed. But it was really a decision. And that's all it took, a decision. That was at least the start. But the next thing is, I spent, I would say, the best part of a year looking at other technologies, technologies that I would normally not have even thought about. 
I was a hardcore PHP guy since 2003. I could have gone my whole life with PHP and been quite happy. But I pushed myself and I started learning other technologies, learning about things that I had no clue about and quite frankly I never even liked them half the time. But exposing myself to other technologies and even though I never stuck with those things, spending a year looking at those other things was beneficial and it gave me a new insight and I could look at some of those things and then take them back to my beloved PHP and see how I could use them, maybe even improve them. For example, one of the things I looked at was loopback. I actually recorded a whole bunch of video tutorials on loopback that went into a lot of detail. And loopback is, or at least was, arguably the best API manager of the web development community. And this was a thing that was bought out by IBM in 2015. Very, very powerful and it did a great job. But as I looked at loopback and went pretty deep, I noticed that there were things about it that I did not like and it had bugs, uh, really and truly bugs and I spoke about them in my videos and it also had terrible documentation and so what I did is I basically took all of the stuff that was good like pop-ups and I rewrote it all for PHP, gave it a new face, I um, got rid of the bugs and I added the stuff that would have made it better and I simplified it. So the end result is I've now got this API manager that has full token based authentication. I can do get requests and uh, add in um, different parameters and whatnot and modify the queries. I can also do things like, uh, for example, supposing I'm going to create a record, I can click and you'll notice it generates the the JSON, but significantly it moves the cursor to the point where you're probably going to start typing, you know? Now anybody who knows JavaScript is watching that saying, well that's kind of easy, I know how to do that, right? Focus or whatever, you can Google it and figure it out in half a minute and you're absolutely right. Because the truth is that we're all just using the same palettes, we're all using if statements and variables and while loops and all of that stuff and yes, it is pretty much all the same stuff. The difference is, I mean, the reason why I've got software now that literally writes the code for you is because all I'm doing is just stacking all of these things, which are all actually quite simple. You don't have to be an Einstein. And I'm just stacking them on top of each other. And so eventually all of those little details mount up to the point where you've got something that's kind of cool. You don't need to know every definition. There's no particular tutorial or book or um, rule or something. It's it's really just a decision, exposing yourself to new technologies and putting in the hours. And I kid you not, this is a complete accident. As I look at the clock, I see that it's 7.56. I started working at 8 a.m. So it's almost 24 hours for me. I did have a I think a couple of breaks, but not too many. And so you don't have to be like that, but you you do have to put in the hours and you know, it's not get rich quick. It's just honest hard work. Uh, not even hard, listen to some nice music, but it's honest work in long hours. If you do those three things, right? Again, decision, expose yourself to new technologies and put in the hours. I'm speaking to the people who have been developers for a while, who feel as if they've plateaued. You do those three things, I guarantee you will take your web development to a whole new level. Oh, can I leave you with just one more thing that I just thought of? See when you get introduced to new technologies like new frameworks or whatever or the, the latest new thing, I would highly encourage you to be a contrarian. In other words, don't just blindly go along with the herd and say, oh, this is the next best thing, this is amazing. When you're exposed to new technologies, don't be afraid to ask the question, is this really something that's good? Is this something that I like? What could they have done better? What have they done that's good? So it's, it's good, it's actually healthy to be critical of other things that are out there. And when you start looking at other technologies and 
asking questions like, well, how could they have made this better? How would I have done it if I made it? Again, it's another thing that will really make the difference, at least it did for me. Now, I'm not saying that you should go and post YouTube videos saying Angular is bullshit and stuff, or like my last one, GraphQL is bullshit. I've posted videos like that, and that's just me being an idiot. When I say ask questions, I mean ask yourself the questions. When you look at any new technology, ask yourself the question, how would I have done this? How could I do this better? Yesterday on the live stream, for example, perhaps I should bring up the page, here it is, it's uh, twitch.tv forward slash Glasgow Dev. Uh, yesterday on the live stream, we were looking at how Google, actually Firebase specifically, handles wildcard authorization. And we never went into massive detail, we just glanced at the documentation and just got a feel for it, very, very roughly. And immediately, it became obvious that Google was using a lot of characters and making it kind of complicated. And I thought, well, why make it complicated? And so by the end of the day, I built my own wildcard authorization feature for the Tongate framework that uses one character. You know, you add one character and it all works out of the box, you know? None of these things would be possible if I was an agreeable person. So I would highly encourage you when you look at any technology, even if it's something I've made or anything, ask yourself, how could this be better? Anyway, that's all I've got for you, and uh, I hope that was of use. To anyone who feels as if they've plateaued, um, I wish you well, and I can assure you, you're a lot closer than you think. It's actually not that difficult to make the transition. And don't worry about all of those conferences and fancy definitions and stuff. When you see people talking in gobbledygook, the truth is, most of the time they're doing it because they haven't really got anything of substance to offer. So don't worry about it. You're actually a lot better than you think. I'll catch you later.